Hello, I am Luis Nuño. I am a professor in the area of signal theory and communications at the Polytechnic University of Valencia in Spain. Now I am going to explain some kinds of codes and their relationships with keys. A code is a set of three or more notes that sound simultaneously. An important kind of code is consonant. A consonant code is a combination of three notes that, when played together, produces a sensation of harmony, rest and stability. There are only two types, the major code and the minor code. The major chord is composed by the first three harmonics of a given note, while the minor chord is built in an artificial way. With three major chords, we can obtain a major key, and with three minor chords, we can obtain a minor key. If we start with note C, for example, and we look for other notes showing great relationship with it, we can start with its harmonics, in particular its first three harmonics, notes C, G and E, and with these notes we form the C major chord. The intervals among these notes are from C to G is a perfect fifth, from C to E a major third, and from E to G a minor third. Because these three intervals are consonant, then the chord is consonant too. If we now take the most important note from C, which is G, its third harmonic, and we look for harmonics of G, this is uh, notes G, D and B, we form the G major chord. Now we can choose a note below C, such that its third harmonic is C. This note is F. If we look for the har first harmonics of F, that is notes F, C and A, we form the F major chord. With these notes, apparently they are nine, but two of, the, of them are repeated, so they are in fact seven notes. We have the C major key. C because we started with note C. If we sort out these notes by their pitch, we obtain a corresponding C major scale, which notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and again C. The distances between these notes are shown below. W for whole step and H for half step. The musical abacus, which is this tool I showed several times, gives us all the major scales. For example, here we have the C major scale. If we observe the notes in this scale, we can verify that the three major chords forming the C major key are placed on the first degree, note C, called tonic, the fourth degree, note F, called subdominant, and fifth degree, note G, called dominant. If we review the harmonics of G, we can see that the next one is note F, which also belongs to the C major key. So we can add this note to the dominant chord, thus obtaining the dominant seventh chord. The name seventh comes from the interval from G to F, which is a minor seventh. This is a dissonant chord. The musical abacus gives us the three main chords in every key. For example, for C major key, we can see here the tonic chord C major, which notes are C, E, G, the subdominant chord F major, which notes are F, A, C, and the dominant seventh chord G7, which notes are G, B, D, and F. If we had chosen a different starting note, for example D, we can obtain the corresponding scale, the major scale, as well as the three main chords in D major. The tonic chord, D major, the subdominant chord, G major, and the dominant seventh chord, A7, which the note with the notes forming these chords. Now we can look for another kind of consonant chord. If we look at the structure of the, of the major chord, we find that we have a major third and above it a minor third. If we invert the order of these thirds, that is, we put first the minor third and above it the major third, we obtain a new consonant chord, in, the, in this case formed by the notes C, E flat and G, which is the mi C minor chord, which is consonant. With three minor chords, we will obtain a minor key. But in order to avoid these flats, we will start not with note C, but with note A. So if, if we form the A minor chord, the notes are A, C and E. Now we choose the most important note from A, which is E, its uh, first harmonic, 
and we form the E minor chord, which notes are E, G, and B. Then we choose a note below A such that its third harmonic is A. This note is D, and we form the D minor chord, which notes are D, F, A. With these notes, apparently they are nine, but two of them are repeated, so they are in fact seven notes. We have the, the A minor key, E minor, because we started with note A. If we sort out these notes by their pitch, we obtain the corresponding A natural minor scale, which notes are A, B, C, D, F, G, and again A. Now, looking at these notes, we can verify that the three minor chords forming the A minor key are placed on the degrees first, note A, or tonic, fourth degree, note D, subdominant, and fifth degree, note E, which is the dominant. The notes in the A natural minor scale are exactly the same as in C major scale. These scales having exactly the same notes but different tonic are called relative scales. The opposite case, that is, those scales having the same tonic but different notes are called parallel scales. This is the case of C major and C minor, for example. The natural minor scale has a little drawback, which is that from the last note G to the next tonic A, there is a whole step instead of a half step as in a major scale. This means that when we play this scale and we reach to the next tonic, we don't have the psychological perception of having arrived to the end of the scale. So to avoid this issue, it is usual to rise a half step the note G thus obtaining the so-called harmonic minor scale, which is the most used minor scale. Now, this harmonic minor scale has a new drawback, which is that the distance between F and G sharp is a whole plus a half steps, which is a very long distance between two consecutive downs. So, it is usual to rise also the note F, that is the sixth degree. In this case, we obtain the melodic minor scale. The musical abacus gives us all the natural minor scales. For example, you can see here the A natural minor scale, along with the directions for obtaining the harmonic and melodic scales. The harmonic scale, as I explained, is obtained by rising the seventh degree a half step. And the melodic scale is obtained by rising the sixth and seventh degrees a half a step. Because rising these two degrees is only necessary in the ascending scale but not in the descending one, we have two possible versions for the melodic scale. A modern version, which is very used in jazz, for example, rises the sixth and seventh degrees both in the ascending and in the descending scale, while the classical version of the melodic scale rises these two degrees, sixth and seventh, only in the ascending scale, but not in the descending one. If we look at the chords in the harmonic minor scale, we can see that the dominant chord is not minor, but major, because we rise a half a step, note G. And in this dominant chord, we can also add the seventh, thus obtaining the dominant seventh chord. The musical abacus gives us the main chords in any minor key using the harmonic minor scale, as we can see here. A minor, the tonic chord A minor, subdominant D minor, and the dominant seventh E seventh, along with, with the notes composing these chords. If we had started with note C, we would have obtained the C natural minor scale as well as the direction for obtaining the harmonic and melodic scales. We can also have the three main chords in C minor, C minor, tonic chord C minor, subdominant F minor, and dominant seventh chord G7. Conclusions, a chord is a set of three or more notes that sound simultaneously and one important kind of chord is consonant. A consonant chord is a combination of three notes that, when played together, produces a sensation of harmony, rest, and stability. There are only two types, major and minor chords. With three major chords, we obtain 
a major key as well as its corresponding major scale. And with three minor chords, we obtain a minor key and its corresponding minor scale, which can be natural, harmonic or melodic. The musical abacus is a, gives us all the 12 possible major and minor scales, as well as the, its, uh, the main three chords, the tonic chord, subdominant chord and dominant seventh chord. You can find all the information on the webpage harmonicwheel.com. Thank you very much for your attention.